folks, it's Nick Granville. Welcome to Guitar Daily, my thing I do on YouTube every day. Um, today I thought I'd talk about the Jimi Hendrix chord, right? No doubt you'll all have seen this before in the classic Hendrix tunes. Yeah. What it really is, is an E7 sharp 9 chord. And it's an interesting chord, it has a major third, and it has essentially a minor third, but in this case it's up an octave, so it's a sharp nine. And you get this. It's a pretty cool sound. Let's move it to the key of A, because that's an easier one to demonstrate what we're going to talk about today. So it'll be this. Hendrix chord, so A, C sharp, G, C natural. Alright. Um, most, a lot of gu young guitar players that, I, that come to me for lessons, that's the only shape they know. It's the one they only use. So I'll show you a couple of really good ones today that you can use. Here's one that I use a lot. It's the exact same voicing, just an octave lower from where we were. So we're A, C sharp, G, and C. Just has to have those four notes to work. Of course, we can have a fifth in there as well. We can have an E if we want. Or an F sharp, F if you want a sharp nine, sharp five. I don't, I don't intend to like having the fifth at all. Leave it out. That gets the point across, right? Another one that you can do is up an octave from that. And you get that shape, right? You get A, C sharp, G, and C. It's actually the exact same notes as this. Right? But on a different set of strings. And it puts you in a different position. Because this, so I was going to go to a D7 chord, I might go... Maybe not. Maybe I'd go to that. Maybe I'd go to any other number of things, but... But having it in that position makes me move that way. So there's one. A, C sharp, G, C. Here's another one. So there we have three already. Now it doesn't necessarily have to just be in that order. Um, you could add the fifth, as I mentioned. Um, let's go with natural five. In which case, this, this becomes a really cool voicing. Alright, here you have the E, which is the fifth. You have the C. Then you have the C sharp and the G. And it's tension because they're right next to each other. So for me, that's a voicing I'd use when I want to spell a very tense sound. Like maybe I'd do something like. So there it's like that big accented chord with. Right? It's different from this, and it's different from this. Right? Um, and then this one, of course, and of course it can be up an octave. Right? So, a couple of things to think about, right? If we take that principle, right? We're just moving voicings we already know, but moving them up octaves around, we're revoicing them like that. Right? Any of these notes can be moved anywhere. If we take this chord here, the weird one is this, flat nine. Generally that's an avoid, but I like it, right? I like those kind of tensions, especially in a funk context or any kind of uh, bluesy type thing. But let's take that C sharp and put it on the bottom. Now we have C sharp, E, C, and G. Or the E could go on the bottom. Now it's pretty funky with the fifth on the bottom like that, but you see that we took a chord we already know and we revoiced it to be able to come up with all kinds of new voicings. That's something I'd implore you to do, explore because you'll probably find voicings that you'll go, oh, I'd never thought of doing that. I'd never, I'd never played that voicing just then before, right? Right, I've never played that before. But I used a bit of theory to figure out a way to find a new way to voice it. And it may be just the right thing for the right moment in a particular song. It could be an original song and so therefore you've got a bit more to scope to kind of take things somewhere. It could be like you're playing a cover or something like that. But anyway, I just thought that'd be a quick one to look at today. So there's three or four different ways of playing the sharp nine chord, the Jimi Hendrix chord. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Um, I post every day on YouTube. As I said, my name's Nick Granville. I'm a professional musician from Wellington, New Zealand. Um, I do sessions. I do gigs, funk blues, jazz gigs, back artists when they come, 
Um, I played with some big name artists and I played with some very small name artists. <laughs> I've done the whole lot and that's how it goes. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, and if you want to take lessons with me and explore this stuff more, hit me up on my website, which is nickgranville.com. There's a link below and we can book in a lesson if you want to do that, a private lesson, um, and take any of the stuff any further. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.